Hi, welcome to the video. Here's the problem we're looking at. We have a random number, x, that's generated by a random number generator, and it's choosing a number between 0 and 1. So the fact that we have a random number generator lets us know that every possible value between 0 and 1 is equally likely. So let's go ahead and sketch out what our density function looks like there. We draw on our horizontal axis, and we say the minimum value we can have is 0, and the maximum value we can have is 1. And it's going to be a flat top density function because every value in between is equally likely. And the laws of probability tell us the total area under this curve has to be 1. So if we think of the length of this curve as 1, that lets us know that the height of it also has to be 1. So you can notice our drawing here is not to scale because this is 1 and that's 1. They should be equal length, but it's still going to be sufficient for us to compute the calculation as a model for what's happening here. So now let's fill in those values of interest, which colors. So we get we have the values. We want to know the probability that the random number we select is somewhere between 0.44 and 0.47. So let's fill those in on our density curve. 0.44 is going to be a little shy of halfway across the curve. It's right there. There we go. It's going to be 0.44, somewhere about there. 0.74, three quarters of the way up the curve. And if we shade that in, draw those lines going up and shade it all the way in, the probability that we're looking for is going to be this area here shaded in red. So how do we calculate this area? Well, notice that's a rectangular shaped area, so we can remember when we're dealing with rectangles, area is length times width. If we think of the width of this rectangle as the vertical distance, well, we know that that's 1. So what about the length? Well, the length goes from 0.44 to 0.74. To calculate that difference, we'll do 0.74 minus 0.44, which gives me 0.30. So that's the length of that rectangle, 0.30. So when we multiply those together, 0.3 times 1, we get 0.3. And then notice they ask for the area as a percent, so to turn it into a percent, we multiply by 100, and that turns into 30%. So if you're going to randomly pick a number between 0 and 1, there's a 30% chance that the number you pick will be between 0.44 and 0.74. Okay.